Mindset, a daily dose of practical wit and wisdom with a professional educator and trainer, Amazon best-selling author, United States Marine, television and radio host, Paul G. Markle. Each episode will focus on positive and productive ways to strengthen your mindset and help you improve your relationships, career goals, and overall well-being. Please welcome your host, Paul G. Markle. Hello and welcome back to Morning Mindset with Paul Markle. I am your host and today we're going to continue on with our Morning Mindset book study. Yes, indeed, we have been for the last 14 episodes talking about the Morning Mindset book, a 30-day plan for a more positive and productive life. Now, this is Section, chapter, episode 15 in the book study and the book study and the book study chapter 15 is this. It is a midterm assessment or midterm self-assessment. And before I continue and go one step further, I want to thank and acknowledge my studio engineer, Zachary for making sure that these microphones were all set up and everything was ready to go for me so that I could just come in, sit down, hit record, and do my job. So thank you very much. If for some strange reason you are now listening to this and you're like, what is all this, what, book study? He talking about a book and a book study? Yes, we are working with the Morning Mindset book, a 30-day plan for a more positive and productive life. And you can pick up a copy for your very own self at Amazon as a paperback, or you can get a Kindle version, or if you'd like a signed version, you can go to Morning Mindset Podcast, follow the link, and you will get yourself your very own copy of the book. All right. Number one, midterm self-assessment. By this time, you should have had the opportunity to do a couple of things primarily. Number one, to establish some discipline and to establish a good positive habit. That's right. If you've got the book, you, you know, I'm hoping that most of you do since you're listening to this right now, you decided that you were going to read one chapter per day. You weren't going to sit down over a weekend and just knock out the entire book. That's not what it's about. I want you guys to do it one chapter per day. So part of your midterm self-assessment is this. What have you been doing for the last 14 days? Did you do as prescribed? Read one chapter per day, 10 to 15 minutes max probably, and then discipline yourself and establish that positive habit. Because if we want to be positive and productive individuals, if we want to be productive humans, we have to have positive habits, and that's one way to do it. Also, self-discipline. Self-discipline is, well, I knew I was supposed to read that one chapter today, but I got super busy and things happened, and I said to myself, I'll just get it later. I'll get it tomorrow. I'll get it the next day, what have you. I'll just wait, and I'll read three chapters in one day. Discipline says, even if you miss the opportunity in the morning to do it, you take the opportunity in the afternoon, you take the opportunity before you go to bed, before you go to sleep. Let's talk about our goals. At the very beginning, we talked about goals. And this is a fantastic time for you to take your paperback copy of the book, if you have one, and to flip back and to read your goals. Yes. Remember I told you that I was giving you uh, explicit permission to write in your book. It's your book. It's not my book. It's yours. And what I wanted you guys to do was to write in your book. T- every time you pick up a copy of the book, or really any book that you're you're reading to study, uh, if you're reading a book uh, that you're not a, not necessarily a fiction book that's just for fun or, or you know a distraction. But if you're studying, if you're trying to learn something, and you open up a book, you should always have a pen or a pencil and a highlighter close at hand. I always do that because you never know when you're going to read something that strikes a chord with you. And you think, man, I never thought about that before, or man, I need to share that with other people. That's probably the a number one reason why I read a book with a highlighter and a pen or a pencil 
is because not only does it help me look at the world a different way or come up with new ideas, quite often I'm highlighting sections of books because I want to come back to this microphone and relate those with you. So hopefully if you uh, have been doing like you were instructed, you can go back to section three, chapter three in the book, setting, excuse me, setting goals. Looks like I need to drink some coffee. And I want you to flip through and we had talked about short-term, mid-range, and long-term goals. Take the time and read them. Now, you probably remember them and they're probably pretty fresh in your mind because it's only been a couple of weeks, but I want you to actually think about those and I want you to read them. And there may have been one or two short-term goals that were a week goal or a month goal or what have you, that if you haven't achieved them yet, you're very, very close to achieving them. Part of that self-assessment time. Now, let's say that you get to the midterm self-assessment, the gut check, and you realize that you have not been performing as well as you would have liked to or you wanted to or what have you. Let's say that uh, you started out with this and you said, I am going to read one section per day for 30 days until I'm done. I'm going to discipline myself. I'm going to set that good habit. And you did it for one day, two days, three days, maybe four or five, and then you fell away from it and forgot or what have you. And now here you are, and I'm reminding you, and you're feeling kind of embarrassed or silly. What you need to do is you need to go back and be honest with yourself and, and ask yourself, did you not read it because you really did not have the time? And I'm not just talking about reading my book. I'm talking about reading anything. I'm talking about devoting your time to study or to self-improvement or to mental exercise? Are you not doing it because you really don't have the time or did you not do it because you allowed yourself to get lazy or you allowed yourself to be distracted? Like we said, uh, each section in this should take you anywhere from five to 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how long the chapter is and how slow of a reader. Well, and also how much you write as far as notes and highlight. But let's just say 10 minutes. If you did not read for 10 minutes today or yesterday, the day before, or whenever, what you need to do is ask yourself, did I, did I not do that because I literally did not have 10 minutes of spare time in my day? Or did I waste 10 minutes doing silly crap? Did I waste 10 minutes looking at Facebook or Instagram? Did I waste 10, 20, 30 minutes looking at silly dog videos or cat videos on YouTube? And that's honest gut check self-assessment time. And if you find that that was the case, if you find that you didn't read yesterday or day before, but you did sit on your phone for 27 minutes and watch, you know, funny dog videos on YouTube, then what is that? Well, it's a discipline problem and it's also a priority problem. So assess your priorities. Now is the time. We're halfway through the book study. Today is the day that you look back and you say, all right, yeah. And, and some of you might be patting yourselves on the back right now. You're giving yourselves a big old pat on the back and you're like, yes, I did. I disciplined myself. I listened. I read. I did everything I was supposed to. I even wrote my goals down. Fantastic. That is excellent. And I'm very happy for you. And that's exactly where we want to be. All right. Uh, we're going to move on during the next episode. And we're going to go from our self-assessment to don't tell me, show me. And that is coming up very, very soon. I am your host, Paul Markle. And I'll talk to you again very quickly. Thank you for spending time with us today. To get show notes, submit a topic request, and for more from your host, Paul G. Markle, visit morningmindsetpodcast.com. That's morningmindsetpodcast.com. Please leave a review for this podcast on your favorite podcast player. We appreciate your time and effort, and we look forward to reading your honest feedback.